Question four now. What should we do first on this on this inequality? What do you think? How about simplify both sides, right? So simplify both sides and see how far you get. So we've got five times t plus three. We need to use the distributive property here. Multiply five times t and then five times three. So five times t would be five t, right? What's five times three? Fifteen, right? And then we've got plus nine. Now we've got to simplify the right side. Three times t and then three times negative two. What does that give? Three t and three times negative two? Minus six, right? And then we have the negative 10. Can we simplify both sides a little further? On the left, we have 5t plus 15 plus 9. Add like terms. What terms are alike there? t is not alike to, to these two numbers. So we can put the numbers together. 15 and 9 gives what? That's 24. And then we have the 5t over here. So, so we're adding like terms. And can you add like terms over here? You've got a negative 6 and a negative 10, right? If you put those those together, 6 bad guys and 10 bad guys, how many bad guys is that? 16 bad guys, negative 16 or minus 16, right? Now, um, we've got t's and numbers on each side. So what we've got to do again is get t's on one side, numbers on the other. You can subtract 24 from both sides. You can add 16 to both sides. You can subtract 3t from both sides. Or you can subtract 5t from both sides. It doesn't matter. You'll get the right answer in the end as long as you don't make a mistake. But we have a choice here of what to do. I'm going to choose to subtract 3t from both sides. Okay. And now that'll give me 5t minus 3t is 2t plus 24. And I subtracted from both sides. Should I change direction? of the inequality. No, because it's only when you divide by a negative that you change direction. We explored this during question two. Okay, so if you want to click on the video for question two, we explored why it is that when you divide by a negative, you change direction. Now, that gives us negative 16 on this side. Okay. So then we need to subtract to get t by itself. So we subtract 24 from both sides. That gives us 2t is greater than or equal to. By the way, we subtracted from both sides. The inequality stays the same direction. And put 16 bad guys and 24 bad guys together. How many bad guys is that? That's 40 bad guys or 40 negatives. And now to get t by itself, we need to divide by. 2, right? Divide by 2 on both sides. And what do you get? You get t here, and what's negative 40 over 2? Negative 20. Do you need to change direction of the inequality? No, because you only change direction when you're dividing by a negative. Okay? So, the inequality stays the same direction. So we have t is greater than or equal to negative 20. Okay. And I just want to, before we go on to the graph, I just want to give you an example of what would happen if we did have to divide by a negative. So at this point, what? imagine if I subtracted 5t from both sides. Okay. And also show that this is not a mistake to subtract 5t from both sides. You just have to keep going and don't make a mistake. We subtracted, so the inequality stays the same direction. That's a negative 2t minus 16. Okay. Then we add 16 to both sides. That gives us 40 here, greater than or equal to. By the way, we added to both sides, so we have the same direction of the inequality. Now we have negative 2 times t. So to undo that, we have to divide by negative 2 on both sides. So on this side we get t. On this side, 40 over negative 2 is negative 20. We divide it by a negative, so we need to change the direction. So this time it goes like that. And this says negative 20 is less than or equal to t. But that's the same as t is what? If you put t here and negative 20 here, how would the inequality sign go? It says t is greater than or equal to negative 20, doesn't it? 
t if you read in this direction it says t is greater than or equal to negative 20 t is greater than or equal to negative 20 is that the same answer that we got originally it is isn't it t is greater than or equal to negative 20 so i guess my point is you can go you can go about it different ways from this point on okay by adding or subtracting different things but if you stick to the rules and, and do it correctly you should end up with the same answer t greater than or equal to negative 20 now to graph that let's just imagine that negative 20 well I guess we could make up our own number line this time we'll just make up our own my own number line here okay I'm gonna put 0 here and negative 20 here and how should this be graphed on the number line greater than or equal to negative 20 well, 0 is greater than it, so is the number 1, so is the number 2, right? So these guys. And also negative 19 is greater than negative 20. So all these numbers, right? All the way towards what? What's the biggest number you can get towards? Theoretically, positive infinity, right? And is negative 20 part of the solution? Is that part of the solution? It is because t represents all numbers greater than or equal to negative 20. So to show that negative 20 is included, we need what? The square brackets for included. Square brackets represent included. Okay, and, and parentheses represent not included. But we're talking about being included, so we have a square bracket here that goes like that. So from negative 20 to positive infinity that and that's the graph there right